Hi, good morning, guys. How are you doing? Still reporting live from Sefshim Jibre. So I'm told that this is where the largest production of cocoa happens. So I want to go to a cocoa farm. I've never seen a cocoa farm before, like live. <laughs> never seen it before. I want to see what it looks like, what they do there, and really how things work. Cause I'm told that they produce cocoa here, yet I'm not even seeing the money. I'm actually not seeing anything in this community. In fact, I even had to ask a question that how many of these farmers children have ever eaten chocolate do they, do they even buy milo you see that these are very interesting questions we need to ask i mean it's like you have gold and then you're suffering do you get that kind of thing you, you are sitting on gold yet you're not seeing anything from it that's what i think so let me, let's just go to the cocoa farm let's see what it looks like and you know hear a thing or two from them um i hope you enjoy and learn something and i pray this gets to the appropriate authorities um so that they can do something about it so yeah let's go Yeah. Looks like design. Yes. Can you see? Mm -hmm. It's uh, like the American ball, football. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they actually drew. Wow, nice. So everywhere, where are those ones green and pep? Uh, Is it purple? Uh, uh, green uh, and pink. Uh, yeah. Those ones like pink. Yeah. Ah. Different variety. Yes. Okay. So do they taste differently or they taste the same? Yes. They taste differently. It's slightly. Mm -hmm. In the pots, the 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 seeds very strong. Well, this one is sweeter. Uh, 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 yeah, they all taste. Yeah. Uh, so in to, today's video, we have the owner of the uh, the cocoa the, farm. Uh, What's your name, please? My name is Kiki. Mr. Kiki. It's a Kiki. Yeah. And we have our Abu. Yes, our Abu Information Minister, Mr. Mr. Tinakwa. Mr. Tinakwa, yeah. fresh boy. Nice guy. A nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> and at the back, is, at the back, his name, funny enough, is Birthday. Like that's what we call him, Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take to start a cocoa farm? Cocoa farm, it will, uh, when you start, maybe it, it, it will take you to uh, about two, three years before it can. Um, yeah, it can come to this this stage for you to for you to harvest it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not 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 uh, by the time that you started, then it grew and then no, it okay. took you about three years. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It will come to this stage and then okay. it will and harvest them. So that when you harvest them, oh, it's unfortunate we don't have some here. If okay. you have the, those ones over here, I'll show you okay. how to do the same. But it seems uh, the, the one that we have yours it has been, they, they have sent it yesterday for harvest yeah. what's pruning hook it's it's something like this it looks like a sickle sickle okay yeah, so we attach a long pole to yeah. it uh -huh. so that you use it to take you harvest the ones on yeah, the branches on the okay why do you need a sickle why can't you just go and no no if you, you need to take it cut it make a clean cut on yeah. the ah. on the stock yeah. okay if you don't do that because what will if happen? you take it out like this you are going to damage the trunk yeah. of the uh -huh. tree which will prevent okay, you from okay. more fruit oh, so you okay. need to cut it clean off okay so you need a prune okay so um is this the highest uh, is this the place for the highest production of cocoa in Ghana? Oh yeah, recently? yeah, yeah. Yes. Western North. Yeah, Western. Uh, the highest cocoa listing in, in Ghana. Yes. In Ghana, yeah. at the moment. At the moment, moment. yeah. Oh, I need to ask this question. How come you people are the highest um, produce, producers mm -hmm. of cocoa yet? I'm not really seeing it. I went to your health center the other day, and I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. this should be better than it is. And you people have more. You're literally sitting on gold. You know, so yeah. so how how does that work? 
Yeah. Before we go into the process of cocoa, but how does that work well, if you are the yeah. highest producers of cocoa? Concerning that, um, it has to do with the profit we gain from the produce of cocoa. It's, it's, it's about um, we produce the cocoa, yes. we dry it, you sell yes. it to the government. Whatever happens to it, you have nothing. You just take your money. So you're just doing the labor? Yeah. You just, yes, you just do the labor. So how many, how much does it cost for a bag of, is the seed you are selling, right? Yes. Not the, not yeah. the cocoa. No, no, no. no. The, the seed the inside. Seed, yeah. How the, much? The, the, the one they use for Milo. Yes, and powder. chocolate. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. So how much does the, um, what's it called? The bag cost? Oh, the, the bag are, costs 800. 800. Yeah. Everywhere in this every, village. Yes, everywhere, everywhere in the whole Ghana. In Ghana? Yes. yes. How, what, this bag you are talking about is it like a sack of rice or what? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's bigger than you the said. Bag, six yeah. points. Yeah. Sixty-four kilograms. Sixty-four. Oh, yeah. sixty-four kg. Yeah. Okay. Eight hundred CDs. Yeah. So how many? Typically, how many can you get in like a week? It, it uh, depends. It, it, it depends it, on the how large your your distance. Yeah. The large, uh, the, okay, the for you who this is your farm, how many do you get in a week, or can uh, you get in a week? Uh, no, you get it in a year. A year. In a year. It's 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 an annual crop. Yeah, it's an annual crop. Not not uh, 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 this is a seasonal crop. Yeah. Seasonal. When when does it come out? During Christmas time, yeah. like December. Since so from yeah. October. October. The yeah. market will be open. Yeah, open. They will set new market prices. for cocoa. Yeah, that yeah. is the uh, Ghana, uh, Ghana cocoa. Yeah. Board. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what do you do from January to uh, what's it called? Is it July, August, September? Uh, uh, so what for, do you do to for uh, January to, to September? September they used to. They, 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 it's they, mostly now, about reading, reading spraying it, ah, 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 treating it. Treating it. Ah, okay, so uh -huh. you, can, you can come to uh, print it. Oh. See, 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 can't be like this. That means it doesn't come, it doesn't grow very fast. Is that what you're saying? Because oh, yeah. if you yeah, are now this one by May, yeah. that's almost six months yeah. or what? Yeah. Before this yeah. one, it doesn't grow very fast yeah. then. Wow. Typically for you, maybe you might not go into details because I mean it's it's uh, media. Yeah. So how much do you think you can get between October and December? Um, Your to, profits? Uh, uh, maybe later, but uh, from uh, October up to December. If you have a big farm, eh, yeah. maybe you can you can you can uh, harvest them about so sometimes the, uh, the big ones you yeah. get about 100, 100 bars of cocoa. Oh, yeah. hundred bars. Hundred bars of cocoa. So oh, okay. eight, eight, eight hundred times hundred. Then you can get like ten bars. Uh, That's uh, maybe hundred bars. Hundred bars. Uh, if the farm is very, very very large or very big one, uh, maybe uh, that, that one when you when you harvest them. You can get that, that type of, uh, that sort of uh, hundred bags. But it's not everybody that is fortunate no. to get yeah, that. Yeah, not everybody. There are those, a lot of those, things that um, contribute to how much you get it. Yeah. Like if, what? If your disease disease are not on your cocoa farm, and uh -huh. things, uh, you are able to input in more fertilizers and, and yeah. other pesticides. So who is paying for all these fertilizers and all this spray? Who is paying for it? You, you, you as well, the farmer. Oh, the farmer, yeah. And sometimes. When things go well, government yeah. does bring in yeah. and fertilize it for price on Okay. But wait, um you said eight hundred okay, per bag. So yeah. who takes the eight hundred? It's the farmer. You the, farmer. You, the personal yeah. farmer yeah. is taking eight hundred per, yeah, per bag. But I don't think that's enough to, to sort you out for how I mean, many months? Uh, well, <laughs> because that, that, let's just say your production is for three months, yeah. October, November, December. Yeah. So what happens to you? How will you feed from okay, January so, up to uh, September? Uh, the thing is, uh, uh, from January up to uh, maybe well, they, when you harvest it, yeah. they, they have a season that they used to close it. What do you what the do you marketing? Mean? Yeah, yeah they, they have a marketing board. Okay. Kind of okay. Uh -huh. So we So it's actually not all year round. It is just a particular Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh. So what happens then? Uh -huh. So after that uh, uh, October up to uh, December. Yeah. And from January up to somewhere uh, April, uh, somewhere April May. Yes. That they 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 they, 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 yes. they used to uh, cut cut it cut it off. So okay. That, uh, when uh, so from then that 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 place small small that you you harvest them. Uh, that yes. That one you can 
still use them small, small, small. So, who is buying all these small, 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 small? Uh, the, the, Satisfied um, buying uh, agencies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. governments. Yeah. It's the government. They are regulated by the government, but, but they have. Uh, 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 Agents. Uh, agents yes. about oh, okay. the, about so are you saying that people don't come and buy this personally? Like, no, no, oh, no, personal. Like, oh, I have a company I'm coming to buy. Yeah, we have private ones. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Yeah, private. private ones. Yeah. Uh, but they, they, they all buy the, the, the same price. At the same price. No, no, you can't, you can't, you can't make your own price and you can't make the, 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 the this one also make before you price. even get your license. Mm -hmm. You need to go by that. Oh, you need a license. Yeah, you, yes. li you get a license before you. Before so you every cocoa farmer in this um section we really has a license. No, no, the, 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 it's the, the buying the, agent. Oh, the buying. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, so but anybody the can controls your price. Can own a cocoa farm. Yeah. Everybody can own a cocoa farm. Everybody can. Own. You can so go into the land. land. Well, as long as you have the land. Yeah. Uh, so my point is, how do you now know? How do you come together to sell to the government, or is it? The, do they come to you individually? No, too? they make a general announcement. Yeah. A bag of prices. A cocoa bag is going for this. Yeah. So, so what when do you, you do? harvest yours, you just take it to the um, licensed buying yeah. agent, uh, put it on the scale, yeah. get the sixty-four kg, mm -hmm. and your cash, cash and carry. You get your money. You come back. So, um, please, what are some of the challenges that um, you face in this cocoa business? If you look at the amount that they mm -hmm. get for producing the cocoa and the amount they would have to spend yeah. in maintaining it, yeah. you realize that you are running at a loss. Yeah. Because you don't get much from producing. Yeah. Much goes into it, into yeah. maintaining it. Like yeah. buying pesticides to treat all these pests that uh, yeah. Akati and the rest that affect the cocoa. Yeah. One, uh, one bottle of Akati, Akati Master goes for, mm -hmm. is it 150? Yeah. 150. Yeah. Yeah. And you so need more than one bottle. And you need more than one bottle. Out of that, it's addressing this. Out of that, it's addressing this. So if you don't have a large family size, yeah. it means you have to get more people to come and buy the laborers. Okay, so usually them. you rely on your family to yes, maybe some then, boys around. There's a problem at that point too. Some of the children too at school, uh, they are young. So okay. child labor. Child come, labor. Uh -huh. come so do you know how much you, it, it takes for one person to work a per day? Per day. How yeah, much yeah, is it per day? 50 cities. 50 cities now. 50 cities, 50 cities, 50 cities now. Yeah. Per day, yeah, per day. Day. and it's more than one person. Even today, 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 they don't even last. My sister has sent some, some of the people to the uh, yeah, farm. Yeah, per day, per, per, per day. day. Per day. So eight hundred cities doesn't seem to wow. go well for them. <laughs> I'm not even seeing yeah, yeah, everything is almost eight hundred cities. It's not mentioned uh, what you call it, fertilizers. Yeah. yeah. You need cutlass. Yeah. You need yeah. Basket for carrying the yeah. food. Yeah. Yeah. So right. many things. So many things. Yeah. The distance. Yeah. Sometimes the distance to when it when it's uh, too, uh, too far, you spend. What yes, Abu Buya and things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> carry <laughs> for you. Yeah, uh, in your cost. If, if you mm. take the yeah. best for yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you definitely you have to pay for it. Yeah. So wow, it's some of the things that they go through. So at the end of the day, the eight hundred really doesn't cut. Oh it. yes. And the farmers have to feed as well. So they are just laboring basically, yes, yeah, no profit. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so what are some of the parts of the cocoa that uh, uh, I'm, I'm told that the bark is also useful, not just the seeds. So what, what can we use the bark for? The bark like this is, one. Uh, that this are, one is, um, um, aside spreading it in the farm mm. so that it uh, supplements the soil. Yeah. yeah. There's um, making soup with it. Mm. Yeah. Soap. It's called uh, here. Contour, contour, yeah. contour. So, do you sell it to local people? It's, or? Sadly, it's not. Um, it can compete with them. Uh, uh, so, I like, how much do you sell? Well, you just people? don't need sometimes, much. Sometimes, uh, the, the owners, the owner, okay. the owner, the owner of the farm, you make it. Uh, ah, okay, that's it. even cheaper as well. So, you yes. make your own soap. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it doesn't make it to the market as the other products from big, big um, wow. industries. Wait, quickly, can you just tell us how it is to plant? How, how we you know, plant. Briefly, how you plant okay. cocoa. So, planting a cocoa, you yeah. need to sample the pot. You okay. need a strong pot. Okay. How do you want? Like this one. It must be yellow. It must be ripe like this. Yeah, ripe yes. like this. Uh, so, you pick it. Yeah. You examine it. Yeah. It's, it, it looks healthy. Yeah. So, you crack it. You don't use okay. cutlass. Because you, if you use cutlass, you might damage the yeah. pots in it. A. So, you use uh, something like uh, wood. You, you you gauge at the side. Can't you, you just it. smash it somewhere? Hit it somewhere? No, you don't okay. smash it on the cocoa. You need this to all the things that are there. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it can grow at, at yes, any yeah, point. Yeah. It's, it's grown okay, on the I can see that it's growing at strange places. Ah, uh, okay. 
So just, when uh, you crack it open, yeah, then the seeds are safe. Okay. So if for proper um, germination yeah. and those things, you need to gauge from here to here. These are the middle. So you take the seed from the middle, then you prepare your nursery bed. Okay. Food with um, soil with um, okay. nice nutrient. Okay. And put them in. You make a small hole like this. Okay. So this is actually what we've been drinking. We take them. Yeah. That's what the farmers use. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. The base. Okay. Cut the base and then uh, the other end too. Okay. Then you fill it with soil. You make a little hole, not more than. And that's so yes. too from your money. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. So you make a small hole like this, you put the seed in it. Okay. So before you nurture it, you have to keep it for some two days for it to go a little bit yeah. under fermentation before when mm. you see it yeah. shooting, then you start putting them in the nursery. For seven days, it will shoot up. Mm. It will be there for some time, like a month, before yeah. you can transplant them into and the ground. The ground. Yeah, you just remove the rubber. Yeah, the okay, yeah, yeah. Rubber, the take it away and put it together with the sand the sand yeah. inside. Inside. Wow. It is done during uh, the rainy season so that okay, you don't water. need to Okay, water. Okay, okay, okay. With constant weeding and pruning. Okay. By three years, you yeah. start harvesting them. Okay. So, um, is it the whole of the Western North that produces cocoa? Uh, yeah, the whole of uh, Western North. How come you know we don't have any any industry that uses the um, cocoa. the cocoa seeds? Okay. Uh, we have to take it all the way yeah, to formally. Formally, it yeah. was there that we have. That is our, 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 our uh, regional head. Uh, oh, Takarad was part of Western yeah, region before. Yeah, and uh, of late that they have uh, made changes to make changes. Uh, oh, okay, that okay, have, okay. Uh, Western so, North. And, uh, Western we are hoping that okay. now that um, Western North is now on, it, uh, on its own, uh, we, we, we are hoping for those developments to, yeah, to, to come. Because I think it's really help. Yeah, yes. you know, yeah, yeah. Help to 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 let uh, people to get mm -hmm. to, uh, job to do. When, yeah. when they bring some we are uh, that will be the, the main thing okay. to, to help us for. Okay. Yeah. Another benefit yeah. from this thing, yeah. alcohol too from the yeah. How? surprisingly it's not uh, it's not widely known. How? When you harvest it, when you take out the wet seeds. Wet seeds? Yeah. Okay. Um when you keep them yeah. and you ferment them, there's a liquid that yeah. comes out from it. Uh, is it intoxicating? Yeah. And yeah. alcohol, so yeah. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. Uh, <laughs> Oh really? Yes. I'm sure that's what people used to. Mm -hmm. It's not widely you known. Oh really? It was a project. It was ah. Uh, if people know this one now, <laughs> they, they they will capitalize on it now. Okay, so please can we open to to see okay. what is inside? No, of I, 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 why, why you going to open it? Hey, but I thought you said you don't use cutlass. Yeah. No, no. When for, 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 for the one. planted one. Ah, okay. The one you need the, the seeds to be safe. Oh, okay. so you don't use cattle. Uh, so you mean that the farmers just, you know, get this and just bag it? They don't lick it like we. That it, it looks so foreign to mm -hmm. us. So we, yeah, we're just licking away. When you mean business, yeah. you want to get your eight hundred cedis? You don't lick it. Nobody has time for that. Have... <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, because hey. you've seen it always. So yeah, it's not something that you. Yeah. But come to think of it, what are the other benefits that you farmers enjoy? Because they are basically the one giving us golden tree mm. and all these other kinds of chocolate. So how do you? <laughs> For me, I, I don't, I, I don't see any benefit. How long have you been doing this, please? Oh, for me, since since, since my infancy. Mm. Yes. And you, there's not one benefit to enjoy it so far. No, 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 no. Okay, formerly it was a, a, a scholarship that even it was my my senior brother. Mm. Ah, it was my senior brother who got scholarship. To where? During, uh, SHS or yeah, university? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, yeah, SHS. SHS. Yes. Ah. Uh, yeah. no, it was uh, from eighties. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that 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 scholarship not not full is uh, is ah. it Bursary, is it Bursary? Mm. But just a term, a term. Maybe a term. yeah. So my concern now is, how many of you farmers, how many of your children eat chocolate? <laughs> knowing that no, <laughs> knowing that they are the ones doing these yeah, things for yeah, us. How many yeah. of them drink Milo? You yeah. see, so yeah. what are how do they enjoy it? So they are just working, they don't even know what the end product feels uh, like or looks like. Uh, uh, what you're saying is, uh, is, uh, is true, but uh, the thing is that uh, for the Milo and the chocolate, mm. when when uh, for, for the for the company and uh, mm. for the company, they are, they are, they have they have made it, but for the farmer, how they sell it, the farmer can not get that money to go and buy the milo and the 
and he was the one who brought yeah. the raw material yeah. but you can't even afford yeah. to buy the finished yeah. product yeah. In the yeah. <laughs> exactly because by the time you buy Maybe. golden tree how much for yeah. how many children yeah. the, hey what's and left and on Valentine's Day they don't get to be surprised by yeah. yeah. every chocolate yeah. and, 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 and the same thing right? maybe your children are also in school we are, mm. we are in school so how many of the farmers have children in school? Hey. Sometimes some pretty have children in school even mm. in the university oh yeah mm. how are they able to afford it? Mm. it's a farm yeah a cocoa farmer yeah. mm-hmm. oh wow my father is into rubber plantation yeah. okay so other oh, types yeah. of farming yeah. uh, so so he's a product of but what is it has government helped you in any way yeah mm, one of the ways that I benefited from mm-hmm. is the scholarship. I had it for a whole okay. three years. Okay. Oh, oh okay. So uh, one of the challenges when when you are given the scholarship mm. is that you need to keep your grades up in order to keep the scholarship. It's not like it's bestowed on you. Definitely, definitely. Every time. But how did you get the the scholarship? So in case maybe you know a farmer is also um, looking for. It was my uncle who mm. actually made me have the scholarship. Mm. Like, usually you have to get it through. Um, it's from the produce buying uh, mm-hmm. agency, yes, yeah. and you realize that customers. This one is usual. This one is this one. This you have this. You know, they can be called to bring your details of your children. Okay. So, that you can be so the scholarship was just for university. Not for no, university. Was for SHS. Oh SHS. Ah, wow. The 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 proportion at which um, mm. it is distributed between the cocoa farmers, it's not that big. A little of mm, it will yeah. go to the some few advantages mm. so can you tell us what the government can do about the situation because i feel it's it's you no know, it's kind of unfair you know you're the ones struggling yeah, and suffering yeah. basically suffering because yeah. it's a lot of work yeah. getting all these dry needs and then selling it for little to nothing basically so what do you think the government can do about it okay um what i suggest the government should do is that um you see you can't be producing something in your country and have most of the factories outside of your, of your country when yeah. the products the end product comes it's going to be costly mm-hmm. definitely mm-hmm. so we should build our own um industries for cocoa um, and milo production mm-hmm. and those things mm-hmm. and those things chocolate drink yes mm-hmm. so so that the cost of um producing those things will not affect the prices so that the average um farmer can also what yeah because it just makes sense that oh this thing that you did oh my son this is the chocolate this is the um end product of it and wow Wow. i think and the government too should um try their local few ones who are trying to also make um products Mm -hmm. out of this like Mm -hmm. um pomade Mm -hmm. they have the soap Mm -hmm. you should try to at least help them Mm-hmm. To compete with the other um, big ones, mm-hmm. brands, you know, mm-hmm. so that this will they can grow. Because, as I was saying, those the soap made from this thing mm-hmm. is very very nice. It's mm-hmm. good for the skin. Yeah. Oh, it's not for washing clothes. For no, body. No, no, no. Yeah, for body. Oh, for body. okay. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, a couple butter and all Sadly, those. those things cannot face the competition from its mm-hmm. competitors. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you just run out. You do it for only the household. That's all. Yeah, but people don't even know that those things. True. Are. True. Mm. So it should help. We can make it a very broad base. Mm. Farmers too can, aside waiting for annually to harvest, we can also make things out of. And one thing that I forgot about: mm. when it's small like this yeah. one, you can break it and use it as open. Yeah. Oh. Is, yeah. Yeah. But if you pluck, 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 you run no, at a loss. No, no, you don't have to pluck it plenty. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, take this one like this. You yeah. break it. You see, it's it's like this. Mm. Oh, it's slimy! Oh, can you use hey, it can you use it for okra? Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Mash it and eat it. You mash it. Oh, it's very nice. And it's nice. Very nice. But when you are doing it, <laughs> you are taking your eight Yeah. <laughs> That's my point. That's what I'm trying to say. That so, by the time you finish plucking everything, well, you want to, to make a big pot <laughs> of no, no, no. You would have finished using all your eight hundred to make a pot of okra. It's not encouraged. Oh, wow. Okay, but it has to be this tiny size. If it's bigger, yeah, if it's then bigger, no, no. bigger, 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 you can use it. You can use it. But is it soft enough? Cut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's almost like okra. Feel it. Ah, hey. Wow, this is nice. So innovation, you know. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so we just hey. Okay. So for yeah. pomade, for chocolate, for yeah, for so eating too. Yeah, yeah. Do okay. These these leaves are not edible. Eh? 
Mm. Or you've not found out. Well, resources. <laughs> you haven't found out. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> this one, eh? Yes. You can use it for uh, this thing, malaria. How do you get malaria? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. you, you, you pick them, the, the dry ones, mm -hmm. you wash them and put them in a uh, 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 pot. Uh -huh. Cook it. Cook it. You, you bore it. And the, 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 the water that, that you drink it. Uh, you drink it. And malaria. 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 Uh, so at the end of the day, every part of the cocoa oh, yeah, tree is yeah, useful. Yeah. 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 They even wow. use it to make uh, mats. Yeah. Mats. Yeah. How? Yeah. Mats to sleep on. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah. No straw mats. The, yeah. can, oh, that means you can use every part of this. Let, 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 let me show you. Let me show you. Ha, come and see this. This, this is the one that you use to make the mats. Okay. Ha, you cut you cut off this one, and you peel peel the, off the 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 the, the, okay. the, the outer. Okay. Ha, <laughs> so you the, the the tree is in, inside. So when you peel the mm. the outer, that the outer that they use they use for for, for the mats. Okay. Uh -huh. so, uh, yeah, two yeah, two yeah, two yeah, two yeah. Two. Yeah, are you here? Ah. This is what they used to make the inside of the is it the inside of the tiro, the no, brown locally one. Local, 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 local tiro. You take the back and you, you, you beat it. Yeah. Uh. Oh really? Yeah. The back of the <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 this one. Yes, you peel it off. You peel it off. I use it to wipe. You you yeah. beat it, you make you beat mm -hmm. it with um, uh, let's say a stick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it becomes soft. soft. Mm -hmm. Then it dries more. Yeah. It's as smooth as a tear. Uh, <laughs> okay, so can you tell us uh, one or two tools you need? You never know where this video can. Hey, they started climbing me. You don't know where no. this video can reach. So maybe they might want to help the community or something. So what are some of the tools that you need? Okay. Hey, thank you, sir. <laughs> mm. um, you need so many tools. Mm. So for the average farmer mm. with a small scale. Yeah, small you scale. Small scale. Yeah. You need your cutlass, mm -hmm. your basket for carrying your cocoa. Mm -hmm. You need your safety boots yeah. and mm -hmm. those things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even sack, sack, sack. yeah, sack, sack that mm -hmm. you for, for, for transporting yeah. it. You need to transport it to somewhere else yeah. so that you can ferment it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I thought you can just dry it under the sun. No, you don't just don't dry it. Mm. You can't dry it like this. You need to ferment it. Also fermenting it, you need those sacks to carry them yeah. mm. to those um, drying mats. Wow. Okay. That one there is not. This ones are not okay. fine. Is this purple so, one that yeah, we really can talk about? There are diseases that um, affects the cocoa, yeah. pests yeah. and diseases. You see, this pot should have matured, but sadly, yeah. it's died out. Okay, I so thought that was the use of the pesticide. And yes, some of the farmers do they need um, um, education, sensitization uh, on how to apply. Most of the they just go outside and buy those pesticides. Mm. Sometimes you need to measure the dose. Mm -hmm. Too much of it can mm -hmm. cause these problems and eh? well, that's a loss because if loss. you have a loss this thing should have matured mm -hmm. see you're having this one with the light thing mm -hmm. and we have um, parasites plant parasites too that grow on this leaf. and when they do that they take away some of um, the nutrients that the, the plants need for yeah. uh -huh. like, these are some of the things that we face you need to if you want to control this thing you yeah. need that a pruning hook yeah okay yeah yeah. To get on top of the the this thing where the this thing is and cut it yeah and that's very dangerous sometimes things can fall on your head mm -hmm. you can get hair doing those things mm -hmm. but if you don't take it down to it will affect the cocoa yeah. letting the pods dry up and eventually you are running at a loss mm -hmm. wow thank you okay so it is was this one, yeah, it's um, germinate pollination. Mm. Okay. okay, pollination. Okay. So when bees, insects like bees, like they, yeah. they help to yes. So oh, okay. The, the pods can come out. Come out like this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Oh, they're so beautiful. So sometimes, if you want to do it, you take this from this tree. Yeah. And you go to that tree and you cross it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, and nice. It's, it's it's very time consuming. Yeah, wow. I can imagine. You <laughs> see that one? This one is wow. So yeah, okay. Shoot stuff like this. Yeah, you don't need to disturb the, the, yeah. the trunk of the tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. When in the season like this one, no. yeah. if you disturb it, you won't be getting them. Ah. Sometimes, at this moment, if your father is a good farmer, you should <laughs> walk like you are. You are walking in a church. Yeah. Uh, if you disturb it, you're going to get knocks. Knocks, <laughs> are you right? <laughs> the place that they dry it, right? What do you call it? Well, drying. It's just drying. You call it apa. 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 Mass. Ah, okay. Okay, so how do you get to this? You said something about fermentation. How do you ferment it? Well, if you want to ferment it, it's smelliness. 
you know, smell it. <laughs> 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 That's why you smell it. Uh, cracking the pots and taking the wet seeds. Yes. You need it. It's wet. Okay. So, together with those uh, slimy things. Okay. So you you, you have to uh, ferment it. How do you ferment it? We cut traditionally. Mm -hmm. How we ferment it is we cut the uh, plantain leaves about ten. Then you put the wet seeds on it. Then you cover it with the leaves. You, okay. you put um, woods around it. So that okay. You leave it for four, four, four five okay. years. Okay. By that time, it will completely ferment. Ah, uh, so then you now spread it. Yeah, so you use sack. That's where the sack comes in. Okay. You, you put them in the sack. You tie them up. Okay. So that you drain the water from it. Uh huh. Okay. Then you bring it. Come okay. and put them on this one. You spread them. You start taking out the the stock in the middle. Okay. See, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like it's joined to one yes. particular. So you take them. You be taking those things out. And be. And sometimes we will be um, on it like this. You be breaking, breaking them. Okay. So but it. as you spread it out, so when people come and see, like doing this thing. Money. Um, it's not usual. Sometimes. Hey. It's not usual. So you, when it's supposed to rain now, you take it inside so it doesn't get When wet. it's raining, you so cover it. That's why we have a black system. Oh, pull it in. Ah, okay. Wow. Uh -huh, so tell us quickly, you said um, the history of Coco. How Coco yeah, came Yeah, the history of Coco. One man. Is it not like the one in Accra? That's the the yeah, they, yeah, they have it. That's ah, the that's the man. That's the man. Oh, okay. From the eastern region. Okay. So he, he came back from Fernando Po with a few um, seeds like this in ah, his pockets. Okay. So if the first farm of cocoa was yeah. um, was in the eastern region, man behind Ghana's cocoa. Okay. So at the end of the um, 19th century, Ghana was leading cocoa production. Yeah. But already um, Fernando Po was their own was um, sleeve. Okay. Um, Liberate cocoa yeah. plantation. Yeah. So ours was kind of like freely. Yeah. So everybody was into it at that time. Then it was profitable. Yeah. So you see inside it. Yeah. Yeah, I can see inside. It's like purple, like, like that. Ah, yeah, that so that's it. Thing. That's the chocolate. Ah, makes sense. Makes sense. You can, you can, you can change. It's not yeah, sure. Completely dry. So it's not completely dry. Yeah. Uh, try, try. It. How do you mean the one that is completely dry? Completely dry. This one, no, it's not. Brown. Yes. But this is brown, now. Yeah? Brown. <laughs> no. Uh, when it's completely dry, it's bitter. It's not so bitter. It's not bitter. <laughs> it's not so bitter. Okay, this one is completely dry. Uh, it's just oh, okay. Wow. It's different from what you, so you can eat. Uh, not so bitter. It's not as bitter as dark chocolate. No, I haven't done what you You haven't done it. You don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not like... no, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not. It's not. It's not bad at so, all. So you see, when you do this. Yeah. The sound that it makes, it means you are going to have money very soon. <laughs> the way you are saying the money, my heart is not happy. Is it 800 pieces? Hey. Imagine you have like, no, but two, four the, 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 the more than 800. So how many bags can you get from all okay, I can get two bags from each. Ah, oh, that's six bags. So what is your sound? That's six bags. Okay, two bags. Yeah. Once you are spending it, you need to make a expenditure for the next year's. And um, clearly you have to be doing something else, not just this. Because no, yes. this is okay. seasonal. You have yes, to, yes, if yes. not, how will we make, how will we eat? Oh wow. Okay. So whilst you are doing it, you're separating these things. Yeah. So you guys, there's, well hopefully that uh, yes, everybody has to come. completely dry. Okay. Uh, okay. When it's completely dry, there's a difference. Like this one mm -hmm. still feels a bit yes, moist, moist, kind of, yeah. This one is so you can a bit... Open how long does it take to get fully dry? Um, it depends how you ferment it. It depends how you uh, ferment it. So the fermentation matters. matters. So the way I've licked it now and I've just put it, you can't use that one. You can. <laughs> it's uh, you know when me yeah. when I open it and lick it. No, no, time or whatever. Right now. No, no, the no, no, one no, I've licked. Yes, yes. You, like, can, you, you can, can, you can dry it. You, can you don't have to ferment it. Yes. Ah, okay. So that's I have some money now. I can make some money with the ones I've licked. It's too small. It's too small. I'll come back so, again. Ghana uh, holds the record for best quality beans. Till now. Till now. Best quality, but not highest. Highest, I think, is Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Yeah, Coast. But we, so we hold the best in, when it comes quality. to quality. Quality. Quality because, because we, we yeah. take time to dry it. And we, the government would have to come inside uh, to help. 
farmers. Mm. And um, maybe invest more money into it. Yeah. Help them grow it large. We yeah, need to large recover. Scale. We need to recover, become mm. the highest and best. Ah, you're yeah, such a quality. proud. Yes. Coco boy. Makes forty percent of the foreigners in Coco. So imagine if it becomes something like a, a profession that yeah. people train them yeah. and go into it. Yeah. They, they will be getting more out of it. More out of it, right? See, whilst you are taking to eight hundred, blah 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 blah. Yeah. By sixty years, you will be old and you can't go to farm. Yeah. Fortunately, farmers are forced to go back to the farm again because okay. there's nothing. There's nothing you save for your, your old age. So for cocoa farming. Sadly, there's no retirement unless your legs are broken. Are broken. So, uh, wow. the truth is, if you go to the pool, trust me, you will not gain. <laughs> you see? Oh, you know, that, 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 that. and this is coming from the <laughs> horse's mouth. Somebody who does this, he has told you you will not gain. But the narrative should change actually, so that at um, least. In the classroom, we ask the children, What do you want to become in future? And surprisingly, you nobody know, will say, I want, uh, I want to be a farmer. Yeah. Do you know why? Because his father is not getting anything from me. So, so I why do I want to go to the house of my father? Yeah, so yeah. If you can um, give a forecast, about 30 years to come, you won't be getting the young generation going. Farming. But you know people are still going back to farming. Those who, yes. who are in retirement. When you have the money, you make it in your Okay, life. you have a point. <laughs> you have a point. <laughs> when you don't have the money. Wow. Mm. And <laughs> Alright guys, um, I hope you've learned a thing or two. Because I have. Um, what I've learned, the number one thing is that it's a lot of work. So when you are eating chocolate, <laughs> you should be blessing yes, the, the people who made it possible for you to eat chocolate because it's, it's a lot of work. The farmers, it's a lot of work. So thanks to everyone who was a part of this video. Um, my information minister here, over here. Mr. Nice, <laughs> my, guy. Mr. nice guy, my other brother here. My, my birthday man behind the camera helping with the logistics. Oh, okay, it's not here. The the owner of the farmland that we went to, the Coco Farm. Thank you so much, and I hope you subscribe, like, comment, and show some love to the farmers as well, and support in the best way you can. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Go again. Okay, so, um, another challenge is that the the Coco farmers face. Yeah. At the end, the end is that um, when you are done and you bag it up to the yeah the buying agencies, yeah. sometimes the scale that they are using is high. Yeah. Okay. So you you don't even know. You don't even know. How can you go and request it? And this is your fellow Ghanaian. Yeah, fellow Ghanaian. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yes. So we have Someone this 74 is this. But the question is, how did you know it was a jack? Oh yeah. Uh, how yeah. do you know? Uh, you, you can compare it. Like maybe you only take uh, my like this one. You can take the one. Uh, Another skin. Uh, okay. Uh, and you and it will be reading different, different. Yes, different, different. So you, you can compare both. And it gets worse when they are all collaborating. Why? <laughs> hey, something our manager. I see. Ah, uh, no, yeah, no, no, no. It's not fair. It's not, it's fair. not fair. It's not fair. So instead of getting about two and a half from this thing, yes. If each bag is taken, they are taking um, unknowingly ten, yeah. uh, ten, uh, ten kilograms from it. It's not fair. It's not fair. So it's not like it. <laughs> <laughs> with your own scale, yeah, so it's better to go with your own scale, though. Best way they are best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then carry it, then subtract. It. Yeah, yeah, subtract. It. Yeah, 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 subtract. Don't go, don't go in front of wow. Sure. Hey, here I was thinking that cocoa farmers were cashing out, not knowing that they are not even cashing out. Hey, that's not. Hey, I didn't know they were not cashing out, though. When you enjoy chocolate, please pray for the farmers that made you. Yes.